Before you see our next story, remember this Monty Python classic? We were evicted from our hole in the ground. <laughs> we had to go and live in a lake. <laughs> you were lucky to have a lake. There were 150 of us living in a shoebox in the middle of the road. <laughs> Well, shoebox living is no joke. Within a stone's throw of where I'm standing right now, hundreds and hundreds of people are coming home to apartments that can only be described as shoeboxes. It's a way of life that's foreign to many New Zealanders, but times are clearly changing. So what do you get for your rent? Michael Holland finds it's barely enough room for you and a mate. Little boxes on the hillside. Little boxes. I'm almost out of the apartment. I can almost reach the other side. We got really desperate, and here we are. And they all look just the same. Desperate and claustrophobic in central Auckland, two students on a working holiday from the land of little boxes cooped up like battery hens. And this is it. This is home. This is home side by side with hundreds of others living on the small side. This is cosy at best. Oh yeah. In fact, there's not much room for the cameraman. Maybe we should, should we let him shoot through the window. <laughs> there you go, Owen. And this is your whole living area. Oh yeah. Living and kitchen area. That's our pantry. That is our whole pantry right there. This is where we put all of our pots and pans, a couple of dishes and stuff. It's actually not big enough for everything. We have to use the dishwasher. There's the rest of our dishes. So that's a storage unit, not a dishwasher. <laughs> exactly. Just a short walk to the bedroom. Not no bed window. No window. No window. It gets extremely hot. So how do you sleep? You bring our fan in. And you put it where exactly? Um, usually where you're standing right there. From one sauna to another, this one on the other end of town, complete with a peak of the waterfront. After you. Thank you. Can you open up that window there? No, you can't. There's um, air conditioning. Ventilation there, is it? Yeah. The prospective tenants, close-up producer Chris Lynch, sent in to sample the spiels of rental agents peddling thousands of inner-city bolt holes. 220 per rack. It's pretty generic as to what you're going to get around for that price. What's the square metres in this? This one will be about 20 square metres, I would imagine. 20? In all honesty, you're renting it for what's outside of it, not what's inside anyway. I mean, you've got a whole city, the parks and everything, you know, where you can get out and about to. There's um, a hot plate, which yep. the previous tenant used as well. I just felt really, really claustrophobic. And it's amazing that people are quite happy to pay $2.20 for uh, something incredibly small. Two forty a week? And that only includes rent. Uh, power bills, like another 30 every other week. And to complete the tour, the bathroom. The bathroom. Is there room for all of us? Maybe. I've never had three people in here before. It'll be a tight fit. <laughs> Excuse me, Alan. Trying hard to think. Pure. I'm not sure if this is personal or not, but have you ever been in here together? Well, you know, he'll be in the shower, I'll brush my teeth. I mean, shower's kind of a whole new room, you know? It's not. <laughs> Basically made for st a student flats. Student flats? Yeah, it's what I'm creating for. And the um, majority of the students are Asian students. 250 a week? Two, wow, well, I could probably negotiate five bucks off it. Have you heard the expression, not much room to swing a cat? No. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true about this, trust me. Yeah. All right, there's not much room to swing a cat in here, is it? No. Not at all. How many square metres is this? Oh, uh, 30. 30. Yeah. I am not boxing them. I could live there for maybe uh, one night. It, looks, it reminds me of a hotel room, but certainly no, no more than a night. Really expensive to move in, nearly two grand just to move into that box. As for our American friends Reuben and Amanda, they stumped up four weeks rent in advance, a $200 letting fee, $600 bond plus a $200 bond for the water, just a shade under $2,000 to get their six-month lease up and running. We have to move everything around if we want more space. It's pretty bad. Where do you go when you have an argument? There's really no place. I think that's, that's helped us not to fight so much. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you have to like each other to yeah. live like this. Oh, yeah. A lot. A lot. And you do? Yes, yes. of course. Yes, sure Absolutely? Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Plus, kind of the bedroom. Yeah. Cool. Is it normal for those um, rooms to not have uh, windows? The one bedroom is here. It's very hot and stuffy, and it was uh, really smelly, and uh, they wanted 240 for a dump. No way. 
Some advice then for those dreaming of a CBD lifestyle on high. Try to see as many apartments as you can. Try to, you know, I guess network and talk to a lot of people before you definitely commit. Yeah. I feel that the apartment is bigger from the floor. <laughs> Maybe that's the secret. Whichever way they look at it, in a few weeks' time, their lease expires and wings clipped no more. Back to their native Texas, they'll happily fly, where, of course, everything is bigger. Lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> and I completely understand why you didn't invite us for dinner or to stay the night. <laughs> All the best, guys. Sorry about that. <laughs>